Friday. It's Saturday. No, it's not. It's not Saturday night. It's Friday night. It's Friday night. It's Friday night. My head is up my ass, folks. Folks, welcome to Burger Hobo Wink Friday night special edition for Hoosier Con. We really appreciate you joining us, and uh, we think you're in for a real treat here, even though I'm pretty much lost tonight. Hey, follow us on Twitch. Follow us on Twitter. Take a look at our YouTube account. If you want to shoot the shit about D&D, join our Discord. If you want to get cool stuff like RPG merch, like a cool shirt, uh, hit our shop. It's down there somewhere. Nobody really cares. Uh, also, a word out to our sponsors, uh, Pirate Dog Dice. I will not be using Big Red tonight, so these guys will probably live because it is convention. This is for fun. Uh, Pirate Dog Dice, if you want a special set of dice, Go ahead and hit them up on Twitter at Pirate Dog Dice. And of course, as always, if your game stinks, one of Hoosier Con sponsors, Adventure Sense, aka OddFishGames.com. If game stinks, pick up some Odd Fish Games. Adventure Sense, make it smell a whole lot better, <laughs> except for Putrid Scent or Putrid Sewer, sure. because Kyle, I think, is still throwing up from that one. Uh, Kyle, don't He's inhale, lost some weight. People. Uh, he has lost weight. He's starting uh, to look gaunt, supermodel. Yeah, lost his hair. Uh, no, no eating capacity. So don't huff your adventure sense, boys and girls. They also have the shine system. If you're interested in writing, take a look at the shine system. It's very good. And soon, uh, how to RPG with your cat goes Kickstarter, folks. Uh, if you're here for the first time. Uh, remember, we are for mature audiences only. If you don't like our brand of humor, please change the channel and find somebody that you like more. We will not be offended. Don't whine to us about how offensive we are because we don't care. Uh, if you've been here before, you already knew that, so nobody really cares. Let's go ahead and introduce you to the players. We are short one player who had to bow out at the last minute, so I'm going to have to use the old DM magic to try and get this uh, working. Uh, let's start off with she who is normally behind the camera, and tonight she is in front and behind the camera, uh, my wife, Carrie. Carrie, who are you? Who are you playing tonight? Uh, let's see. Tonight I am playing Zando Mills, a third level ranger, high elf, snooty. Yeah. Um, and I, I am also pirate dog dice, and I make custom dice, and that's about it. And I'm married to this guy over here. The redhead. Those guy, I'm not, yeah. That's, that's right. <laughs> uh, David, David, you're up next. Go ahead. Oh, okay. You know the rigmarole. Oh, yeah. Hi, I'm David. And uh, in the Murder Hobo verse, <laughs> I play on our Cacophony show as well as our Calamity campaign. Um, tonight, I'll be playing Torvig. He's a um, mountain dwarf and a barbarian battle rager. So that's who I am tonight. Barbarian and menopause. Uh, no, he what? forgot to enter it in. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Uh, last but certainly not least, a uh, newcomer to the Murder Hobo scene. We'd like to welcome Ian. Ian, who are you and who are you playing tonight? Hi, I'm playing Ika and uh, a third level fighter. Uh, a, a rock gnome with a uh, nautical history. So uh, <laughs> straight off the boat and uh, not sure exactly where I am yet, but um, I'm pretty sure I can get into some type of mischief. Piece <laughs> of cake. Folks, uh, due to scheduling conflict, we weren't really sure if we were going to be able to run the Garden of Discontent, but guess what? Screw it, we are. Uh, Mun Van Tackleberry, a local alchemist, has wandered into the Cauldron Tavern, where these three are currently sipping on some spiced ale, uh, and he is asking for a few brave souls to go on a pickup mission. Uh, he is seeking a party of adventurers to go to an associate's house and pick up some rare herbs known as Cupid's Hearts, probably because I wrote this in February, uh, for from Lortana the Elf, a fellow alchemist. Uh, the package can be somewhat temperamental, and that is why he is seeking adventurers rather than standard delivery agents. Uh, everybody in the tavern looks at you guys, and he jumps on over and says, hey, you guys, can you help me out? This trip only takes about two hours by foot, so you'd be back by Din Din, and I'll buy. Uh, he will offer you each uh, third level characters. He's going to offer you guys 75 gold pieces each to go ahead and pick up this package that is pre-made. Uh, all you got to do is get from point A to point B. How tough could it be? 
What say ye, Ika? Well, the last time someone said it's a really simple job. All you have to do is pick a package, and next thing I know, I'm over the border and I'm missing a kidney. But um, as long as uh, that 75 gold is uh, freshly minted and good, then I am happy with that. Well, so we now know that his kidney is worth 75 gold. Uh, yeah. What say you, Torvig? Hey, if he's, uh, well, uh, 75 gold and he's buying after and I get dinner out of it, yeah, I'm for it. And last but certainly not least, Zando, uh, are you in with this group? Or... So we don't know what's in the package? Uh, Cupid's hearts is all he's telling you. What could go wrong with that? There you have it. Uh, three eyes and what I am hearing. Uh, he gives you directions and you guys head off down the road. Surprisingly, after about two hours, there you are, uh, right on cue. A lovely uh, little bungalow covered in uh, foliage. Uh, it looks almost like a gingerbread house that you cannot eat. Unfortunately, everybody give me a perception check. Thirteen. Uh, ooh. First roll out of the gate. Natural 20. There you go. I wasted it then. Uh, yeah, I know. <laughs> Thirteen. Uh, all three of you notice that there is a missive attached to the door. Looks like somebody has left a note, and he calls out to Lortana, are unanswered. Can someone read the note? Sure. Who wants to go read it? I can't read. All I'll, right. I'll read the note. <laughs> Sando volunteers to read the note. It is from Lortana, as per her signature. It says, uh... I scrolled too far, damn it. Uh, it says she's been called away for a family emergency. Uh, the package is located uh, where we first met in my garden. Apparently she thought uh, the alchemist was coming. Well, how uh, the hell were we supposed to figure that out? It's a garden, how big could it be? <laughs> Can we call them on our cell phone? Uh, sadly, uh, this place is surrounded by mountainous region and there is no cell coverage. <laughs> okay. You get zero bars. Uh, there is a nice crushed granite pathway leading around behind the bungalow if you'd like to go investigate. Or you can kick in her front door, rob her blind, and be murder hobos. Doesn't matter to me. <laughs> Let me know. I get the foot raised. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, I was promised dinner. If we are uh, punctual, we can still get a nice bowl of stew. So um, I think that is my motivation for now. Yes. Fair, fair enough. Uh, Torvik agrees. Zanda, do you agree? That's fine. That's the spirit. It won't uh, be as good as what my elf brethren could make, but whatever. <laughs> you got. I do love the high elves. They're just such crap. Uh, you guys go around the uh, DG. Uh, disintegrated granite and you go ahead and find a set of brass gates uh the pipes are fluted and of different sizes and as a slight breeze washes over the area a melodic tune is heard giving you calm john spartan mm -hmm. what could possibly go wrong <laughs> well um just gonna roll my D thirty all the way. Yeah, across I was waiting the, for you uh, to get floor. that. <laughs> I was waiting for you to get that. Okay, so uh, who wants to touch slash open the brass gates? So uh, that doesn't sound ominous at all. Can I perceive any magic attached to the gate? No, it looks like the uh, cuttings uh, of the fluted nature, along with the breeze, seems to be causing the melodic tune. You notice that the brass gate or the brass gate is here and a brass fencing extends in either direction past your field of view as great foliage appears fruits vegetables uh, deciduous trees conifer trees this place is a druid's paradise and probably makes her own stuff okay i take my short sword and i poke it open <laughs> <laughs> There's hey, no Frank, mage hand, so... I was about to say, at least she didn't use mage hand. <laughs> uh, 
I do love the mage hand spell. It always shows guts. Uh, the fluted brass doors open up. The melodic sound stops. And you guys are faced with a rather steep slope. It's one that should be easy to traverse. And that leads to a large bridge overlooking a river of sorts. And we don't see a package anywhere. Nope. I got to find where they met. Um, are you getting any type of, uh, of a suspicion here that instead of using normal couriers, we're seasoned, you know, us seasoned people are being sent in? And I don't know. Almost seems too idyllic. Uh, well, I guess I will just I agree. walk forward and. Were they homeless? Did they meet under nothing the bridge? This is nothing is odd. Hmm? <laughs> No, they were not homeless. They did not meet under the bridge. As you guys uh, pass down the rather steep uh, incline, uh, you notice something. The garden in which you were traversing uh, is in the center of this area. However, a strip of land covered in different trees seems to extend around it and below the gates. So the gates are, the fencing is much higher you guys are descending, so you're going into a kind of a valley. Uh, it's you can Las hear Vegas. Bert. No, no, it's it's a pretty oh, okay. va- valley. Uh, it's <laughs> like uh, Hooterville Valley. Uh, as you go in, you uh, hear birds singing. Very nice, very serene, very tranquil. Everybody give me perception check as you proceed down the incline. 15. 15 works. <laughs> Eight. Ooh, 24. <laughs> uh, Zando and Ica, as you guys proceed down, you notice the bridge is made of stone. It seems to be a very sturdy construction, uh, possibly white marble. Ica and Zando, you notice traversing the waterway is a small blue boat, not piloted by anybody. It just seems to be floating along on the current, almost as if you're visiting Disneyland. Uh, a quick look around. You hear the birds. You do not see the birds. The foliage on the island is such that your vision is obscured. However, off in the distance, you see a waterfall-ish thing, you think. But again, the trees only allow you to see the top of it. You may assume that whatever water feature that is at the back must feed the creek. How big is the boat that's floating? The boat is large enough to hold four people. Well, but you guys are going to be 20 feet higher than the river base as the incline continues over the bridge. But you can leap over maybe <laughs> into the boat if you want. <laughs> By this time, you guys have reached the footings on the close side. Well, I suppose, well, just from a distance, I'm able to see, is this boat being uh, drug along by like a tow rope, uh, like on a mechanism, or is it actually free-floating, since I yeah. have a nautical background? Investigation, and I'll right, give so it to you at advantage, since you have the nautical background. Ah, well, uh, 19 and, yeah, that's going to be my best one, 19 and 9. 19 is plenty good. Uh, Using your skill and deducing of the watery kind, you notice that it appears the way it bobs and flows, that it is just riding on the current and not towed by anything. It kind of, not quite serpentines, but lazily moves to one side and the other according to the current. So is it anchored to one spot then? It is not according to Ica. Well, I suppose if we're this is larger than we thought, uh, I could possibly pilot this around to see if we can figure out where this package might be left. Um, room for four, so we could all go on it. But if we go down that flume and it's too steep, then we're all toast. So, uh, do we want to divide and or conquer? What are we uh, thinking? Oh, we got to get on the boat, all of us. Yeah, we all got to get onto it. Yeah. <laughs> Looking at Frank's face. <laughs> no, uh, in the Biden and conquer works. <laughs> uh, no, I I think we should stay. You know, pretty much together. So, you know, and I'm, the barbarian would get lost anyway. Yeah, 
Well, yeah. how about I uh, um, all get a little anchor going here? I've got a 50 foot silk rope that we could use um, with my stone work. I'll find some type of vantage point at least. Hook it there, and we can just, I don't know, swing ourselves to it. Sure. Sure. Sound. Who wants to go first? Um, I should go who's... first because I am the yeah. smallest and lightest weight. So then I'm not going to unmoor the boat. Sure. I can probably study it better. Uh, there are, I'm not sure if they're barristers or not, but lines in the stone let's kind of mini columns on the stone uh so finding a spot to uh, lash your rope to shouldn't be any problem i assume you're going to then shimmy down the rope and try and hit the boat yes okay uh shimmy down i will give you your choice you can have a dex or not dex acrobatics check or you can try and physically hit the boat using dexterity as your modifier. I'll acrobatics it. Um, yeah. It's probably <laughs> not, I roll pretty low. So um, all in all, oh, I see that I don't have any ranks. That's actually already pre-calculated. Oh, oh, cool. Eight. <laughs> <laughs> uh, give me a D12 against me. If I win, you flip the boat over. I lose, you manage oh. to maintain. This will make you quite happy. I, I rolled a, a one. I rolled a 10. Uh, as you guys watch Ica slide down the rope saying, don't worry, I've got this. I'm an expert. I got this. I know exactly he, what I'm doing. He hits the edge of the boat. It flips over. Uh, odd, it flips over on top of you. Even it flips over next to you. No damage. You and your blue submarine, Ica is surrounded as he has been flipped over on the boat. So he's got a hat. Well, damn. Oh. <laughs> they call this one the barrel roll. It makes sure there's no ants in the bottom. <laughs> we do it all the time. He's nautical. He knows this, this stuff. Do we know how yeah. deep this water is? Well, yeah. it's at least uh, three feet and eight inches. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm hoping you have an air bubble under there. <laughs> yes, he he, he does. He, he is in no jeopardy of suffocating at this time. Give me a perception check while you're under there, Ica. Ooh, fantastic. Uh, well. Uh, the current seems to be weird down here, like something's moving around. Up top, Zando and Torvig, uh, you take a look at each other, uh, shrug your shoulders at your sailor mate, uh, not being able to get in the boat. You aren't really sure what he's doing. What would you like to do? I give, uh, I take out my rope, uh, do, a, do a little fast fastening knot around my waist, hand sure. it to Zando, and do the Baywatch thing, oh, you know, try to get to him. I can't hold this guy. <laughs> Nice. I'm a dwarf. Um, hey. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, not too bad. She's an elf. Uh, Tormig, same thing. Uh, acrobatics to land atop the boat or dexterity to hit the boat. Or do you want to land next to it in the water? Uh, well, he's under it. I, I would just, oh, because there's a drop. Okay. All right. Uh, I don't want to hit the boat. I'll try to land next to it. That way I could help try to write it. D D20, one or a two is bad. Anything else is good. Okay. <laughs> Since you're intentionally missing the boat. Uh, five. <laughs> <laughs> you skip off the side of the underside of the boat and land Smack. with a splash. Ica and Torvig, what kind of armor are you guys wearing? Uh, uh, so I'm wearing leather spiked armor. So, Ica? Uh, soggy leather. Oh, very good. Uh, you guys will be fine. Uh, Torvig, D12 against me. Six. Six. Uh, well, now we'll leave Ty goes the runner. Uh, you aren't sure if you felt something brush up against you or not. Uh, up top, uh, Zando, you remain. The birds unseen are still 
bellowing out a melodic tune. You look around, you still don't see any action. Uh, as you look down, give me an investigation check at disadvantage, please. Thirteen. Yeah, okay. Uh, there's something moving around around the boat, and it's not Torvig, and it's not Ica. But I can't uh, tell what it is. You really can't tell what it is. Uh, you'll understand why in a minute. <laughs> I'm sure we'll all understand why in a minute. Okay. Uh, I'm going to uh, try to help right the boat, so... And Tor Ica, is that what you're trying to do as well? Yeah, I'll I'll do that. Uh, performance, performance, Ica, your naval performance is an advantage. Ah, so I'll, I will take a twenty-two. Uh, nineteen plus four, so twenty-three. You guys do quite well, uh, Zando. You notice from your lofty perch that they are, huh, 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 and they flip the boat over. But that thing in the water is going right for Odd Torvig, even Ica. 23. Looks like it's going after Torvig. What do you want to do, Zando? Well, I would like to just sit on top of the railing and think Fish. about how much Fiona. better it would have been if I had other elves with me. <laughs> but fair, fair I enough. will take my longbow and try to hit whatever it is. Sure. Go ahead and fire. Fuck. Two. <laughs> <laughs> Odd even. It was a two, two not a one. Uh, no, no. My roll. Okay. Eka, a arrow goes shooting right past your nose uh, causing you to look up. Torvid Ica initiative. Zando, you too. Neutral. Wow. 15. Well, I guess if you're going to get a natural one, initiative would be the thing to get it on. There we wow. go. Zando. <laughs> oh, me. That's Sorry. you. <laughs> I forgot. What's your initiative? Uh, Oh, uh, six. <laughs> <laughs> These uh, dice are hot today, I swear. Nika, good news. The narrow miss with the arrow has caused you to avert your gaze and damn that elf. But then you see something moving around. It looks like an alligator, but it looks transparent, except for that heart beating and the circulatory system. Gross. Uh, if you didn't know any better, you'd swear this thing was made of glass. You're up, Ica. Ooh. Uh, all right, then. Um, well, since uh, I am not in the best of spots, uh, I will pull my rapier out because at least it's not going to be fighting against water. Sure. Uh, so I will just be in a stance, and I will point this out to my other soggy companion here to alert him to the uh, blondie heart of glass coming at me. Yeah, I was thinking nice. the nice. same thing. <laughs> well done. Uh, sadly, uh, the glass alligator rolled a 10. Meaning yeah. It goes next. Odd even, since there's two of you in the water. Four. Uh, Ica, it does not like the looks of your rapier and moves in with its lunge. Uh, with a five, I don't think it is going to get you, and it will fall short. Uh, next up is the six, Zando. Uh, you have an eagle eye perch here, and you can see exactly what's going on. Okay, well, I tried to hit it with the longbow again. Sure. It meaning Ica, or it meaning the glass alligator? The glass alligator. 18. Okay. 18 hits it. Okay. Uh, hit 1d8 plus 3. Ooh, 8 plus 3. Eight, nine, uh, is that 11? That would be 11, 11 hit points. Uh, Torvig, uh, you see an arrow embedded into its crystalline carcass. What do you want to do? 
Okay, <laughs> natural instincts kick in and the adrenaline starts pumping, so I would like to rage. So uh, I'm going to go ahead, bonus action rage, and uh, yeah, make an attack uh, a la Conan style with uh, my battle axe. Now keep in mind, you don't have solid footing. Yeah, <laughs> I know. <laughs> he's a barbarian, he's not very smart. Yeah, not smart. Steve. That's so. true. So anyway, gonna ma- gonna make an attack. Yeah, uh, take it a nine misses. <laughs> a nine d- does miss. <laughs> uh, round two, Ica. Things are looking grim. Oh right. Uh, well, I will try. Uh, also using that arrow as a marker, I will lunge in turn with my rapier and see if I can't puncture this glass hide um, with a formidable. Ten to hit. Swing and a miss. Uh, Steve gets it with his own alligator teeth. Mm-hmm, his sharp alligator teeth. Uh, let's see. Odd even. One. It looks like it doesn't like the barbarian this time and lashes out with its claws. For my first nat 20 of the night. Ooh. Now, uh, folks at home, if this is your first night, like uh, Ica. Uh, I do not get the benefits that the PCs do on the Nat 20. If a PC does it, we'd go rules as written. Uh, damage, damage, modifier. No. I am just going to do regular and know that, haha, I hit you. Uh, <laughs> nice. Uh, so, uh, and crit fails, by the way, on the PCs. I mean, they hit the buddies. Yeah. Uh, ooh, four and one plus two. That is seven hit points of damage as Torvig takes claws across the face, bringing us to Zando. Zando, the water is now little bloody. I am raging, so gonna, so I'm uh, resistant. To do a little yes, for that was flashing, so uh, three. Okay, got it. Oh, also you need to roll a DC 12. Uh, strength or dex, otherwise you're gonna get grappled. Uh, uh, let's see, 10 plus uh, strength, 14. Okay, good to go. Zando, up uh, up on your peak, what do you wanna do? Uh, I will try to hit it with my longbow again. Okay. Uh, 18. 18 hits. And... Imagine how much damage you would have done if you almost had Six. shot Ica. <laughs> 17 damage. Very nice. Uh, Torvig, you are up. All right. I am going to try to hit it again. Uh, this time with the hand axe. So. Sure. Uh, 24 to hit. Easily. Uh, let's see. Uh, 9 plus two uh 11 points of damage and i'm gonna bonus action attempt to grapple sure okay so just uh make a regular roll uh 19 on my roll plus two okay uh 14 on the roll and uh add strength so 18 is i beat you i slither out Okay. Uh, Ica, your friends are beating the crap out of her. What would you like to do? Uh, well, I'm going to um, press the advantage. I will lunge again with the rape here. Um, and I've rolled uh, nat 20. Do I need to confirm, or what's the uh, protocol here? Uh, you go ahead and roll damage. Roll damage again, and then add your modifier. Okay. We used to do uh, double damage, but eh. We're lazy. Uh, so that is a total of 15. Very nice. Uh, the rapier finds its mark. Uh, the water fills with blood and a glass carcass, albeit fractured, uh, floats up to the top. Uh, next to the boat, which is upright and starting to drift away. Um, so we've probably killed a prize pet or a rare pet. So we should probably hide the evidence some some in some way i don't know wait is there shit that we want to take off of it though i want the heart i mean actually if you just took out the heart then that would hide a lot of the that's blood, true because the blood yeah. will wash away yeah. just 
Yeah. But you are. Yo, can somebody grab the heart for me? <laughs> if I'm close enough to the shore or whatever, I'll try to grab the Are we the still going to try to get on the boat? <laughs> you guys are right in the middle of this river, the lazy okay. river. All right. <laughs> uh, I guess um, since you are still frothing in the mouth, if you're a strength, you could probably just, you know, we could work together to flop this in the boat. Sure. We could uh, dismember it later. A uh, transparent material like that could fetch a price. True. That's true. Uh, give me strength rolls. Make sure you don't go natural one or natural two, and you should be able to toss this beast. Say, don't go natural two? Yeah, don't go natural two. So <laughs> if one were to get a natural two. <laughs> <laughs> Let, let's let's see what uh, Torvig's I think it's a 20. If, You're just not looking at it correctly. If he can offset it. Okay. And add my strength modifier, so 14. Yeah, uh, Ika, you pick up the thing and throw it on the far side of the boat, <laughs> boat entirely. <laughs> Good news is you did not capsize your own vessel as you bob aimlessly in the lazy river waiting to hear uh, it's a small world after all. Um, Torvig's going to make a second attempt to try to get it, just muscle it in. So. Sure. All right. Roll again, strength. Sure. Okay. All right. Uh, let's see. Plus four, 19. Okay. Torvig wrestles the damn thing in there. Xando, you're still up top. Do you want to slide down the ropes uh, that Ika has secured and Torvig had uh, into the boat? Yes. Uh, if, if, yeah. Go ahead, Ika. Oh, no. It's just like, that's the one rope I have. So it'd be great to have it back. But I'm like, well, I guess we'll just leave it there and come back. For well, it. we have two, right? I only have one. They're both they're both attached to the uh, okay. bridge. So but, I mean, that's where you got to leave anyway, right? Well, I mean, I'll, I'll just go down <laughs> Torvig's rope and we'll undo and bring down Echo's yeah. rope. Yeah, okay. save Echo's rope. We might need a rope. Right. Ica, your rope comes floating down. Uh, Zando, just like the others, uh, your choice: acrobatics or hit the boat. Um. If you're going to hit the boat, you don't want to hit real hard. We'll try acrobatics. Sure. <laughs> oh, that worked out. Uh, 21. Uh, like something from Cirque du Soleil, Zando the High Elf whisks her way down and lands gracefully in the boat as you two water-sodden individuals finally get crawled in as the shadow of the bridge passes you by. You are going westerly. Well, uh, at least you two don't spell anymore. <laughs> uh, as you uh, maneuver down the banks, uh, you can still hear the birds. The island itself is lined in trees and soft hills. You can see small woodland creatures moving about freely. Uh, as you start to make a bend around, you go a little bit north and then back down to the south. Uh, you see uh, everybody roll odd even. 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 Mm, uh, even. Uh, odd. Torvig, on the left side of the outcropping, not the island itself, but the mm -hmm. land surrounding it, you think you saw something moving, and if you didn't know any better, you'd swear it was on all fours like a creature. Zando and Ika, you see a paddle wheel structure on the right. Uh, the water pushes the paddle wheel over and over, grinding and other mechanical noises are emitting from this building that looks strangely like a mill, if you didn't know any better. Uh, you notice that the river continues on and swoops north if you want to say, screw this, I'm not interested in either one of these two things. <laughs> I'll point, point out, I think what are being stalked. <laughs> well, uh, we should probably try to get out of the water or into the boat just so then we don't get dragged under the wheel. Uh, that would be a very not good way to die. 
Uh, Ica, as a, with your naval background, I will grant you the ability to steer this craft if you wish to stay on board. Uh, well, I think we should probably safety numbers at this point since uh, visible things and whatnot. Uh, what do the rest of you say? Uh, I mean, if you want to uh, steer the ship to the opposite shore of the thing, um, yeah, that's up to you. Or yeah, so you're the captain. You're the captain of this ship. That's, that's true. <laughs> Creature on the left or stone mill on the right? I go for mill. Uh, I feel like this is a binary decision. I'd say probably better to uh, already confront this creature that we know where it is. And uh, so it's got four legs, so it's a land thing, right? So yep. I guess the alligator has four legs too. Well, let's, hey, why don't we just pepper it with some shots from our bows before it can close us, and then uh, we'll also drag its carcass out of here. Sure, that works. Kill all of the pets. Well, <laughs> at this point. Uh, the southwest corner of the garden is filled with multiple clumps of trees and tall grasses. Birds sit on the limbs of a dead tree and watch you as you approach. A moment later, they scatter as an armored figure. That, you don't see the armored figure. Oh, okay. I'm like, I'm that, the that, other that, side of the, of the bank. Uh, that, 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 from... Do not look behind that curtain. Yeah, that was, that was a poorly written section. Uh, it is a lion. Uh, as it comes into view, it does not appear to be wanting to go into the river, but stands ominously at the edge. I have the heart and I throw it at the lion. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Hit it. You can use dexterity as your modifier. Plus three. Anyone. Uh, yeah, you throw it and the you lion it. catches it right out of the air. It's like a trained kitten. Is he happy with that? Seems to be. If you were a lion, wouldn't you like to have a heart? I don't know, I suppose. Okay. Or courage, one of the two. I'm not sure which. Yeah, I was uh, meant to say, is he going to start singing if I was king of the forest? Or something? Right. I was going to say, like, if, I wonder if things are not how, they're supposed, like, how they seem, so... In Murder Hobo Inc.? No, they're always pretty straightforward. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, so the lion uh, quickly devours the meal and uh, wanders off to a clump of trees. And the high grasses conceal its exit. Okay. Well, uh, that was quick thinking. Gave it, gave it its meal. <laughs> well, um, I guess we should figure... Plus... We can blame the lion for killing it. That's true. Yeah. We fed one of your pets to your other pets. You're welcome. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, do we know what form this uh, cupid heart is supposed to be? Like, could it be something that's milled down for snorting purposes? Or, or um, it is be. it like a whole leaf? Does anyone have familiarity with this... Uh, Drug. I'll take I'll take Arcana check from all of you. You know what? No, I'll take Medicine check from all of you. Okay. Carrie, you yes. get uh, plus I two medicine, medicine very well. Uh, three. Three. <laughs> I get eleven. Uh six. <laughs> nope. None of you guys have any idea what it is. Oh, apparently, we all have worms too. Um, yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, uh, um, the, the boat, Ica, continues to move lazily along with the current. Do we want to check out this building and avoid avoid the wheel? I mean, I think um, it might be worth checking it out. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm for checking it out instead of getting crushed by the wheel. <laughs> yeah. Um, so let's try to uh, steer the ship uh, above river before we get sucked into its current and... Uh, we could drag the boat on the shore and see what is in yonder mill. Uh, give me a performance, Ica. Uh, at advantage, rolling double ones means you can't steer for shit. For for number crunching, would it make sense to do something else? This performance is charisma based and has, unless it's like nautical songs, because it is. I'll 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 give you the option. 
Uh, any murder hobo will tell you that I do not strictly follow the books. So, uh, <laughs> he doesn't it, usually know the books as well. I was just saying, because everything yeah. I, all, all my other things are strength and dex and me. Uh, you know what? I'll give you dex. Dex, yeah. yeah I'll give dex you dex. dex. Okay. Um, but at that point, uh, I, a uh, tremendous five. <laughs> yeah, uh, you. Uh, I don't think I've actually been on a boat before. Yeah. I am <laughs> very. You did. You did do that at advantage, right? Oh, at, at advantage. Yeah. Oh, in that case, also still a five. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> no, that's a four. That's a four. You you're lied on liar. your resume. <laughs> yeah, you're a liar. You have never been on a boat. <laughs> I'm um, not even sure if I'm a gnome. Corvick <laughs> and Sando, you, you got some questions here. Uh, I am two raccoons in a trench coat. You know what? I'm going to say you run into <laughs> the mill. Uh, let's say one, some damage. Uh, four, a whole lot of damage. Uh, two and three, you get flipped out of the boat. Two, you get flipped out of the boat. Three, you get flipped onto the paddle wheel. Uh. Uno, uh, you take minor damage. Everybody takes uh, bludgeoning damage of one hit point. Uh, as uh, Captain Nemo there uh, doesn't do a landing very well, <laughs> but does land behind it. Uh, okay. So so, Ika, you can now drag the boat up onto the island itself, uh, albeit a little buffeting and questionable looks from your companions who ask, are you sure you were a sailor? <laughs> How old are you? You've got a horseshoe tattoo on your arm, not an anchor. <laughs> 53. Um, mm. All right. Uh, I... Yes, this is exactly how boats work. And now they're no, up I, the water, and um, good. I'm not even smart enough to, to pick up on that, so or wise enough, so sure. <laughs> you, you guys uh, find yourselves behind a small wooden structure with a field stone base near the edge of the river. Breadsticks are heavenly. Are they are from they Olive Garden? The Ergot? I am Bork and Breadstick, a baker by trade, and I have just freshly honed these special breadsticks. <laughs> I, I will, bullshit. I will gladly bite the bait uh, for sake of these uh, viewers on this stream, and I will um, offer him. I have no idea what to pay a speaking turtle, so I will give him a gold piece. That seems what? more than generous. I would agree. Uh, red stick? No. I eat said red stick? Oh, God. That's a lot of dice. <laughs> uh, sadly, most of them will go to waste as uh, the bread stick is so delicious, you would recover 11 hit points. But I'm <laughs> guessing you haven't lost that much. <laughs> uh yeah, the dwarf that's resistant to poison should have been the one to say, I'll try that first. <laughs> Inst instead, the gnome feels great. This is the best breadstick you have ever had in your life, and this old turtle knows his shit. Well, this is the best breadstick I've ever had in my life, and this turtle really knows his shit. <laughs> it's not as good as an it. elven breadstick. Give me a break. I think you may be hard-pressed. I'll be the judge of that. <laughs> You're going to eat it? Yeah, I'll eat it. Four, Wait, seven, one... four. Say again, Ica. Oh, no. Uh, say, you wouldn't happen to, since you were such a expert in uh, flour um, and baking, are you familiar at all with uh, Cupid's uh, hearts? That is what we are, we're supposed to pick up a package of Cupid hearts. Oh, yes, but that's not flower. Those are fruit. Oh, it's a fruit, not a flower. Yes, it's in the shape of a heart, and it's in crimson in color. It's said to be the main ingredient in a filter of love. Well, I honestly thought that we were here on a mission to buy some type of illicit street drug with... All right. Change of plans. Uh, all right, great. So we're looking for a larger package. 
package rather than a small package. Yeah. They're about the size of a turtle's fist, my friend. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Um, also, as a question, uh, so we happen to have seen there are such lovely other uh, creatures here, including invisible alligators. What other yeah. things should we be mindful of as we uh, are accomplishing our delivery in picking up this package of fruit? If I may answer your question with a question, uh, why are you here? I'm going to answer your question answer with a question of my own. Why are you here? I am the baker of the land. Lortana the elf brought me here years ago when she liked my pastries. Well, I could see why. Those are the best breadsticks I've ever had, and you really know your shit. Um, we were sent here um, to pick up, on behalf of uh, Lord Tannen, uh, a package of Cupid's Hearts, and we saw a note that said uh, that she was not here, and to find it in a place that they have met before, and then we will take it to... Uh, our master. Ah, so Lortana is not here presently. No. Oh, uh, sadly, I cannot help you. I do not know the first place that she met uh, this individual. I know that she has uh, numerous uh, bunkers of fruits, vegetables, and flora of all kinds uh, here on this island, uh, as well as the outer rim. Well, do you uh, know the, just where there's Cupid hearts by themselves? I think in the north section. You've never made a Cupid heart pie. I am a baker by trade. She brings me the Cupid hearts and I go ahead and make it. She also Fair brings enough. me carrots. Makes what? Carrots. Ugh. How do you make carrot cake? Not like that. Not that. <laughs> With spice cake and cream cheese. Well, um, okay. I hate to be rude, but I do need to get back to my baking. Well, thank you so kindly for the hospitality. My pleasure. Uh, he shuts the door and then he reopens and he goes, uh, you might want to knock next time. Just saying. <laughs> I did. It was just so noisy. Why the, do you the, masturbate the on the job? <laughs> that was my first question when you there's Is like this a great harvest? alone with a loaf of bread saying, "Why don't you knock?" I'm going to think there's a hole in the loaf. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much. Nice. Uh, he ate the whole pie. <laughs> that's right. Hey, I, I don't know why you're bitching. Both of you got what uh, eleven hit points back? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Uh, okay, he shuts the door again, and you are on a uh, crushed granite pathway that goes over towards the bridge and up to the north, or you still have your boat that's still stuck on land. Ah, we didn't even do the boat. I was just ready. All right. Um, <clears throat> so we want to go inside. north and just try to find some Cupid's things? Yeah. Um, sure. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I mean, I'm, Torvig is not very perceptive, so, I mean, he will assist with trying, trying to navigate this forest as best as he can, but generally this guy is clueless, so. So, path or boat, gentlemen? Uh, well, you know, this boat is just not designed for this river, and that's why it's it's constantly flipping over and not being steered correctly. Probably yeah, stick it. to the path. It's the boat. Definitely it's a, not a good boat. boat. It's a seasoned veteran of the seas. I will tell you, it is uh, just not a good boat. Sure. Uh, <laughs> as you look out, it looks like the path to the right takes you kind of the way you came. The path to the left kind of takes you in a northerly route. Uh, uh, the total did say north, so. Mm -hmm. Yep. Uh, Never you, you guys head off north. Uh, the water here's or the land here is a little bit squishy, uh, and after a few minutes of travel along this very nice, very well kept path, uh, you come to an unusual sight. Uh, ahead of you, sitting on a stone, is a frog, a human-sized frog, playing a banjo. Uh, the creature <laughs> uh, 
hails you and stops the twang. Hello, travelers. How are you? Aww. Was he singing about rainbows before he stopped? He was. Oh, nice. nice. Um, uh, I hail him as, as, as well. Uh, hello, good toad. What brings you to my land, my friends? And he is going to focus in on five. Ika, uh, since you have hailed him first, is going to hail you back. Uh, you notice that his voice is uh, slightly effeminate, possibly female. Uh, and the frog asks, uh, what you're doing here? Well, ha, my crew in here, uh, Zando and Torvig, uh, we are here on a mission to pick up Cupid's heart fruit on behalf of our master. And we see that your master was supposed to have left a package and she is out. So we are trying to find said location of fruit. They are delicious if you have never had them. I, in my other form, used to enjoy them. Ah, and uh, what was your other form? I, my friend, am a princess trapped in this green body waiting for a hero of noteworthiness to come and give me a kiss so that I may become a princess again. Have you met the noble Zando? Uh, she has such a sto like, <laughs> this great stories of heroism that, I, that I've heard so much about. I have not. I step well, up and say, hello. <laughs> hello, are you a great hero? I am. Might I trouble you for a kiss so that I may be changed back into my Prince Leslie form? Of course. Do you give her a kiss? Of course I do. <laughs> Lots of you guys. You're going to get warts. <laughs> uh, you, uh, you lean in, do your good deed for the day, give a big old sloppy kiss to this frog. Does she have to roll for it? <laughs> yeah, still a frog. Mm. Oh. Well, I guess um, you're on deck, Torvig. Maybe you're more heroic than uh, it, uh, it's Zando. Be. Well, uh, what I, I mean, Zando, you start to feel something, and then you start to feel it grow. Uh, Ika, Torvig. You notice that she is quickly developing a wart <laughs> on her oh. upper lip. Oh no. The you frog, damn toad gave me herpes. The frog in question goes, sorry, and disappears. Zando, <laughs> uh, you will have minus one to charisma for the duration of your stay in the Garden of Discontent. I am sorry about that, Zando. I no, you're not. <laughs> I have such ugly looks that it wouldn't Whatever. <laughs> Everybody, perception check. All right. Ooh, 21. Uh, 16. Uh, Zando and Ika, you guys notice some shadowy movement off in the interior, off the beaten path, uh, over the rolling hill and in between some of the bushes here. But again, the landscaping on the island is impeccable. A variety of flora that you have not seen in a long time or ever uh, abounds on this fragrant aisle. Uh, but something took off to the interior. Uh, I will nudge Zando and whisper to her that act cool when you're being stopped and then ever so nonchalantly nudge in the direction of the shadows. Okay. Uh, Torvig, I rolled that, a blind. That, okay. that cloud looks like a horse. I say, what I'm, about still, I'm, I'm, still, I'm still looking for the toad. Where'd it go? <laughs> well, wait, I thought I said Torvig got... I thought you saw it as well. Mm -mm. Uh, Zando saw it. I rolled a Torvig, one. Sorry. Torvig got the one. I you got the one. <laughs> you and Zando ah. saw the movie. Sorry, then I will have done my nudging and pointing to uh, at Torvig because Zando's in the know. 
Huh? Okay. okay. Cool. We are being stalked. The, um, I wonder if it's the same lion. You're on the wrong side for that same lion, unless it swims. No, or there's or another lion. Yeah, <laughs> more than one lion. I ain't lying. Maybe it's his girlfriend. Yeah. Um. Well, I let's err on the side of caution and uh, stay alert. <laughs> Nicely said, barbarian. <laughs> yeah, that takes one. Hey, yeah. I do have danger sense. So <laughs> apparent. Apparently, it's just as good as Ica's naval skills. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. <laughs> uh, Ica, you have tried to drop into the shadows. Give me a stealth check. Uh, an 18. Uh, yeah, you've uh, disappeared into a bush. It's like you're sitting in LS Airs and you're looking through a rounder. Nobody notices where you're at. Ah, and mom's you can never going to find me here. That's right, um, right. And then the store closes. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I guess uh, I'll just like, use this opportunity to gather just whatever sounds um, and try to figure out what might be in pursuit of us. Uh, so if I am making an act of perception, it is a mighty eight. <laughs> uh, you, not you notice two creatures, small in nature, uh, go down a hill into a small gully in the island just ahead of you. Uh, Zando, you and Torvig, uh, you aren't really sure where Ica went. You know, he was going to slip into some foliage. Uh, what are you guys doing? Um, well, you ever saw a John Belushi and Animal House man, when I he's am, trying to I sneak it in? With him. Yeah, I'm looking around. <laughs> so, okay, Zando, what are you doing? Um, distancing yourself from Torvig, I hope. Yeah, they, they're starting to smell again. Um, well, I have perception. And of course, you printed this out really tiny. You're welcome. <laughs> Do I perceive anything around us? I don't know. Give me a roll. Uh... Darn it. Persuasion. I'm just going to say nine. I have no idea. <laughs> Perhaps you need larger pirate yeah. guys to roll. Uh, nine is not going to be good enough because these creatures are small. Ica, you notice two small creatures going down into a valley, for lack of a better term. Uh, you see your two friends looking somewhat clueless, still on the uh, granite pathway. Am I able to stick my head sufficiently out of the bushes to get an actual look besides... Ick is the bush man! <laughs> <laughs> I had no idea... That bush ain't Ick. I am here for it. Uh, yes, so, you pop up with branches in your hair looking a lot like Rambo. <laughs> um, all right, uh, so uh, what should I... Another perception or... Uh, as you stand up, you get a much better angle, and it appears to be two big hedgehogs. Oh, capybara, I mean. Ooh. Possibly. You aren't really uh, sure. I will do my best, um, or, and I will make it a handle animal, handle animal check, mm -hmm. and uh, with my plus three, it is a 20. And you're trying to do what? I'm not sure, but uh, I have a fondness for capybaras, and so sure. because they they like water and all that, so surely nothing bad could happen. And if not at all, making a and see what they do. <laughs> Torvik, Zando, uh, you see Ica break from the bush and run down a small incline, uh, barely seeing his rock gnome head as he goes down. What would you like to do? I'm like, oh, <laughs> and start trotting after him. <laughs> I'll Sando? walk along behind. Retard. Nice. Uh, Ica, as you clear the path, you notice that the two capybara are spreading out a red and white checkered blanket and have a wicker basket with them. 
Ah, I am probably interrupting a date and I didn't knock. Um, so um, again, <laughs> I, how can you knock? Will, uh, but I mean, I why would I knock on a noisy mill where you can't hear? So uh, I just, just I've already clear your throat loudly. Here. I will oh, um, beg pardon and I'll um, I guess reverse my heels and go back. I don't I don't know mess up some Capybara's date, that would be horrible. Uh, as you try and figure out the best course of action, uh, Torvig, most likely with his weapon out, ah, comes up and over the hill. Uh, Zando plods along because the small people smell. Uh, Ike, you hear and see the Capybara take a bite out of a big old red fruit. <laughs> Ah, I'm wanting to change gears and maybe interrupt this date now. Ah, they're looking at you, so the interruption's already clear. Uh, <laughs> Can we help you? Oh yes, I was just here to stop this hooligan from interrupting your date, as you see he's frothing up. Oh! <laughs> um, so, uh, I'll kill it, uh, you know, sir. You should leave these two people lovely. Are they actually capybaras or is that what he's Yes, but they speak common. Hey. You ought to leave these two capybara be. They're just enjoying a nice meal and you shouldn't disturb them. I, oh. I'm, see, I, I'm seeing a whole uh, Monty Python holy grail moment here. <laughs> 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 oh, yeah. And I'm just Big like. Carol vibe here. Oh, okay. I sheath it. Uh, and I come and walking up. <laughs> <sighs> you so, Ike, tire me out. Ika, you have managed to stop the barbarian from killing the two giant R.O.U.S.s uh, as they continue to munch down on this red fruit. But uh, they don't have any peanuts? Not currently. They're just eating fruit the size of a turtle's fist. Um, so, uh, beg pardon, lovely capybara. Um we have been sent here to find a basket of those uh, Cupid Heart fruits, and uh, we have misplaced it. Uh, have you seen a large package of it marked clearly for a pe people to pick up and deliver? Persuasion check. Thank God it's not me. Uh, I'm sorry, Warden. Yeah, Warden. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, 16 minus 1, so 15. Oh, but my handle and or it was 24. Seeing it on. So, so you handled the situation well. Uh, oh, uh, well, that would be up to Lortana. Uh, we are allowed to eat uh, the Cupid's hearts after she has collected them. So, I, I, I believe uh, you need to speak with uh, Lortana. Ah, she is out at the moment, uh, and we were sent to pick this up on behalf of her friend, and she said to meet uh, or go to the place where they met the first time. So maybe there was some type of date. Uh, as you are quite cute here with your picnicking, surely you must be uh, experts in dates and date-like activities. I would say maybe the orchard where... Uh the cupid's hearts are at possibly if that's what they were looking for uh that's uh through those woods uh down the hill uh through the next woods and then up the hill and then uh, on your left no on your right got it got it <laughs> oh kitty this okay. is snacks what is his <laughs> name Snacks. Snacks. And the other cat is Rambo. Aww. Ah, nice. <laughs> now, if what's his face had his cat lunchbox. I am late. That's right. Uh, so, uh, not to be rude, but we're kind of on a date. Oh. Yes, yes, by all means. Um, so, uh, beg pardon. Uh, yes. Sorry. So, did you want to cut across the interior with the directions given? I have never met a lying capybara um, crew. What do you say? Should we follow these um, most majestic and wonderful creatures? Directions? I say yes. Uh, yes. 
They look honest enough. <laughs> As you go through a copse of deciduous trees, possibly sugar maples, uh, you go down the hill, uh, and there is a, a line of tulips, a line of red tulips, a line of white tulips, and a line of blue tulips. Oh, too bad Xander's not here because she can get herself some new lips. Oh. oh. Uh, and the tulips seem to spread as far as the eye can see across this open hilltop area. So you will have to cross through the tulips in order to get to the other side. Do we tiptoe? Through the tulips. Yep. You can. Uh, other than, so there's no other way to like circumvent the tulips we have to go through, right? Uh, it, it, you can go far left or far right and okay. go to the end. Uh, um, uh, Ica, um, yes, what would be the most expedient? Time seems to be I need my not dinner. on our size. <laughs> no, I'm not going to enjoy it. It's up to you guys. Cross the tulips or take the long way around? Well, we should, uh, can we cross the tulips without crushing any of them? We've already disturbed if, it. If you tiptoe. Is Tiny Tim playing? <laughs> no, the banjo, or there's no ukulele here. <laughs> Thank no God. Goodness. I don't want to crush these beautiful flowers, but but. We'll follow the directions quite literally of the capybara. If it takes us through and tiptoeing is involved, we shall do that. Everybody go ahead and give me a dex check, please, as you tiptoe through the reds. Seven, uh, 17. Uh, 19. 19, 19. Ditto. 19. Uh, Torvig, Ica, you tiptoe through like your Fred Astaire Zando, not so much. You break a few as you go through. Um, yeah. Tough shit. Uh, no, next line up I pick is... them up and take them with me because they're beautiful. Oh. Now you have six lips. Uh, only one of them has a warp. Sounds <laughs> <laughs> uh, vaguely disgusting. That's right. The line of white is up next. I will take dexterity if you wish to tiptoe through the tulips. Ah, um... Apparently, I have an aversion to white. Uh, I uh, rolled a four. I rolled a seven. Uh, Eleven. Uh, as the three of you, I assume, side by side, start to walk in, Torvig manages to start missing them. However, Zando and Ica manage to step on them, and shrieks are heard from the flowers. <gasps> the tulip bulbs, whoop, whoop. Whoop, 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 whoop. Zone in on Zando and Ica and each fire two projectiles at you. Zando. Uh, 16 and a 12. Does 16 get you? Yes. Ica, ooh. <laughs> yeah, uh, 19 and a 4. Uh, yes, the, the 19 for sure. Uh, you both take one piercing damage, but I'm going to need a constitution save. 21. You are unaffected by the toxin. 10. You are affected by the toxin, and suddenly your vision starts to give soft focus, and you start to see two ikas. Everything's so pretty here. Two Torvigs <laughs> and a shitload of whites. Uh, I'll just lay down here and take a nap. Uh, how about, uh, uh, well, wait. I was going to say, I really can't slup you very well on my back. Uh, <laughs> uh, hell. Everybody uh, roll initiative. Oh, yeah, of course. Uh, are no, angry. No. Nine. Oh. Boy, my, in my initiative is for shit tonight. Eight. Eight. <laughs> well, I got a two. Uh, so as panic starts to set in, Zando, your double vision is causing you some ocular issues. 
Torvig, Ica, and Zando. You guys are up. I will take the 16 to start. Zando. I take my longsword and go like a scythe. There you go. Start <laughs> hacking the flowers. <laughs> right. uh, go ahead and give me an attack roll. It's going to hit me, isn't it? 19. It's a one. Uh, now roll d10. <laughs> this dog is driving me insane. Nine. Uh, you whack the heads off. Nine <laughs> tulips. Stop. Much to the screaming uh, that sounds horrible to your ears. Next up is the nine. Ica. Uh, so... Lay down. We, I, I think we Go should lay just down. run. There's a lot of flowers, and um, we are just going to destroy the relationship between our boss and his friend. Um, I think we should run. I, Torvig, quick thought. Run, or I know you probably want to attack. Uh, they'll probably take a shot at us, but if you want to run, we'll run. I just a thought. I mean, also, yeah. Sando looks like she's beginning to... Um, yeah, if she yeah. gets too groggy, I'll 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 pick her up and start All running. Right. Um, so I'd say let's. I'm gonna try to tug on Zando and tell her to follow the gnome, and uh, hopefully she'll I'll get through the haze and just get so out. You guys drape your arms over her knees and whisk her away like she's the president in an assassination attack. <laughs> right. Uh, everybody, go ahead and give me a just straight up d20. I'll roll for her. 18. Any. Nine. Torvig? Two zero. <laughs> uh, you guys whisk her away, but not before two more shoot at her. Uh, 13 and 17. I know the 17 will get her. Uh, I'll, I'll, I, I will try to nudge her more out of the way, so I'll take the brunt. As she's not here, I'll take, the, I'll take her damage. Four hit points, and I need a con save. All right. Uh, so con is 18 for that. Toxin has no effect. Uh, right. As you approach the blues, what would you like to do? Oh, shit, there's another zone. Um, <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> do we see the path like converging or anything like that nearby? You do not see any undulation whatsoever. Those tulips are just straight up. Okay. Um, run like hell i mean run and jump like hell sure <laughs> i mean try to avoid the property damage uh uh zando you are being whisked away a la presidential assassination you guys oh, that's so sweet you guys have uh, opted to leap over the line of blues everybody give me a dex or acrobatics check no, please one of the same for me. Do I have to since I'm being carried? You aren't being carried. You're being hauled oh, okay. away. Uh, 20, oh, not natural. Lord. One. All right. Uh, Ica, although you nearly knock a few heads off, Torvig leaps through the air uh, gracefully like a Limpazaner stallion. Zando <laughs> eats it and slides through carving a swath of 25 tulips. Uh, oh, oh, that's coming out of your salad. As you guys leap over, you turn to look at her, and she looks like a smurf because the blue is all over her face as she just face planted. Along with it. my wart. Along with a big brown wart that she has from The wart is now blue, right? So it'll Well, that's got to be better looking. Yeah. All right. Uh, you know what, Zando? D12 against me. Let's see if it's better or worse. Nine. Ten. Fuck. It's worse. <laughs> <laughs> it is worse. But you guys have successfully uh, escaped the blue line. Uh, you are coming to the rise and another copse of trees. Everybody give me perception check in this 
kind of dense or cops fun. Um, <laughs> right. <laughs> sorry. No, uh, that was awesome. Uh, 14. I'm sorry. What, what were we rolling for? Uh, perception. Uh, well, I hope it's something important. To, I guess got a nat 20. Nice. We're going to have to get carry the magnifying glass. <laughs> oh. I can't hear you. Oh. You muted. No, she's not muted. Hmm. Six. Nope. Still not coming through. Sorry, folks. <laughs> Technical difficulties. So, okay, so... Torvig, where does your magical little door go? I must know. Torvig, the magical door? <laughs> no, behind you. That is almost gnome-sized. You have a, you have a door. I, I oh, I oh, in real life. I was just like... Yeah, I shouldn't have said Torvig. What, did I miss something? Uh, yeah, uh, yeah uh, storage. <laughs> Although I should... My cousin toured the house one time and saw that. It's just like, dude, that's your bedroom? And I'm like, yeah. He's just like... Uh, uh I can't I can't sleep in that because I got one on each side. Oh, that's neat. It was just like, oh my god, Pennywise Oops. is in there. Oops. Okay. My cousin's twelve, so you know, big imagination. <laughs> Ooh, I get the big dice. Nice. Product plug. Product plug. That's it. Pirate, Pirate dog co- dice to get you through your game. <laughs> okay, sorry about that, folks. Okay, uh, the Smurfette uh, gets up, hauls ass. You guys are all in the small copse of trees with the natural 20. Ica, you notice immediately there's no sound here. Uh, quick look around, and there appears to be an arm bone sticking out of the soft soil here. It's almost as though it's a shallow grave. Hmm. It's not connected to the leg bone. Um, Well, that's disturbing. These trees are probably carnivorous. I think we should give them a wide berth. As you stand in the middle of them. (laughs) (laughs) Exactly. (laughs) Which is why everybody must now roll initiative. Yeah. As the awakened tree does not like it. I am glad Father. I got to turn out the obvious before 20. we die. Well, at least she got, gets the jump on this him. This is uh, a nice nine. tie. Nine? Mm-hmm. I was, before, I thought we'd have enough time before we get into the next round of combat. I was going to offer Zando in my inventory. I have a lucky charm that could be either a rabbit foot or small stone because she's having the worst day out of the three of us. <laughs> I would have liked to have at least given that to her before it consumed by trees. Um, you can Wish in it. one hand. <laughs> uh, what's your initiative, oh. Ica? Oh, uh, it is a uh, seven. Uh, there you go. 20. Zando, you're up. Uh, one of the trees, a pine tree with not very many needles on it, sways ominously as there is no breeze and it looks like it's gonna whoosh, devo you well but i'm a i'm an elf and i want to commune with it and heal it sure that'll work how do you want to do that uh, I was about to say. i've seen the evil dead yeah right <laughs> um i don't know i can't see any of my stuff Well, I can see your stuff, and you've got nothing in there that is going to allow you to commune with this angry tree. But I'm an elf. I'm a high yeah. elf. It's about to. Yeah, you're a high blue oh, yeah. elf right yeah. now. You're that tulip with a wart. Because <laughs> you kissed a freaking frog in the woods. I cut my hand and I rubbed the blood all over the tree. Awesome. That's gonna just. That's gonna just get it engorged. I mean, blood that's what loss. Fair enough. Let's move on to the number right. nine. Uh, that is Torvig. Okay. I see this thing <laughs> winding up for a swing. So, yeah, I draw the battle axe and um, 
Yeah, I. Um, it has not attacked us yet, though. So it's it just. Lo it lost initiative to everybody except Ico. Oh, okay. Uh, I am going to hold my action till it strikes. <laughs> Good enough. Uh, the Awakened Tree is going to go for. That's a five. Ica. <laughs> One of its dead branches. Whoosh. Uh, with a four, uh, I'm going to assume that I do not have enough extra points to hit you. So, Ika, with your seven, you can go, then Torvig with his held action. So, in, in this cups of trees, how many trees are there? Uh, there's about 12. I don't think we're going to be able to chop down 12 trees. No. I think this is another case that we make like a smurf and run. Mm, I agree. <laughs> it's not, it's not expression, but we have a smurf and we need to run. So I just sure. So you opt to I'm take a book out of the out of the cops. In, cool. In the general capybara direction. Round two, uh, as Ica turns tail and runs. Uh, that brings us to the twenty. Zando, what do you want to do? Uh, I follow him. Fair enough. And Torvig. Uh, I'm going to run, but I'm going to take a look at that hand real quick. Like, just a glance. Do I see anything on it? Investigation. Okay. Just take it with you as you run. Yeah. That's what just it's gonna... hold tight and just run. Uh, 16 on the investigation check. Looks like it has a ring on it. I, gr I grab the hand and run. <laughs> Do you now? Yes. Yeah. Let's see if you grab it and yeah. not the tree root next to oh, it. Oh, come on. Like, uh, <laughs> He's okay, a barbarian. So, He's an idiot. <laughs> so what do I, what, You can tell exactly. what a tree root is. You need to hit it. Okay. Uh, dexterity is your modifier. Okay. Got it. Uh, la, la, la. Uh, okay. 18. Yeah, you grab the uh, skeletal arm. Okay, is it just the arm, or am I dragging a skeleton? Nope, you got just the arm and the hand with a ring on it. Okay, <laughs> I'm running. <laughs> As you guys have all turned tail and run, attack of opportunity against oh, yeah, now... three Torvig. Okay. With a two, I don't That's think not... I'm going to get you. Nope. <laughs> uh, you guys break through the copse of trees and go down into valley number two. As you do so, everybody give me an investigation, or I'm sorry, perception check. Uh, Torvig, since you're looking at the ring, yours is a disadvantage. Seven. Seven, Ica. Sixteen. Uh, give me an odd or even, Ica. Uh, you notice a tower top over to the left above some trees. Uh, There's you guys... a tower top. That way it's past the trees. It might be important. Hmm. We should go there. In this valley, you can go left or right. Uh, a little bit ahead looks like uh, some more flower bunkers if you want to go investigate that fuck those well, flowers didn't we weren't we told to go straight down through two valleys and then go left no wait go right correct so if we no wait go right then that would put us towards the tower no the tower's to your left oh i'm sorry I... hmm. let us go the right then where i don't know where it's going sure I, I mean, know, I don't want to. Railroad. This is all very confusing. No, you're fine. Uh, as you go to the right, you <laughs> see a collection of fruit trees. Just on the other side of the fruit trees is a granite pathway. Is there a package? Nope. And the trees look like they've been freshly picked. <sighs> oh, okay. The path takes you right, which kind of seems like the way you came from by the bridge or left towards where you thought the waterfall was. 
backtrack and maybe go to the tower thing? Maybe the first capybara was right? I mean, correct? Sure. Sure. Do you want to follow the path or cut through the valley? Ooh, I think at this point, halves maybe slightly better. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I think I think we should stick to the path. We haven't had any. I can't imagine how many druids that she has in her employ to have a garden of this size, and we are honking off probably each and every one of them. <laughs> I don't know, but this fellow was probably the last person to come through, so I'm pulling off through the, through the as, rest of us. <laughs> as you pass through the uh, Cupid Heart trees, you get to the path, you hang a left, uh, you go for about five minutes, and you come to a T intersection. Uh, straight ahead, though, is the river. Beyond the river, it is being fed by a large waterfall. And in the center, between the waterfall and the river, is a water spout. Very idyllic. Now, the trail goes left and right. Left would take you to the tower. To the tower? Is that where we want to go? Dando, what's your professional opinion? I think we need to go to the spout because it's very idyllic. Who meets a in a tower for the first time? Unless there's some type of fornication, but I suppose that could happen anywhere. Um, That's true. <laughs> well, you know what? I'll say let's do spout because... Um, you may have a hard time finding in the future. At least we're able to see a tower from a greater vantage, so we can always backtrack that way. Sure. Okay. Uh, you're going to have to wade out there, and you aren't really sure how, how deep it is. Well, it's not like I'm already not chafed already from all that. <laughs> that is true. <laughs> we were wet. We're running through, and, and the leather the leather is going to rub a lot. Ask uh, Frank about that. Yeah, so as you go out, uh, it, it is deep. The river, uh, you can't really touch the bottom uh, as you head out. But the further out you kind of dog paddle, uh, you start to you start to feel some obstruction on your feet as though there's an incline. Uh, and going up or down? Going up. And then the further you go out, the more you notice that the water is receding down to about the rock gnome's chest level. Nice. Uh, so it's kind of a small uh, lake or pond area at this point in time. Of course, it's going to be lower on the elf. Uh, Torvig, what are you again? A dwarf? A dwarf. So You and the rock too. gnome are about up to the chest, mm. but uh, the, the ground is okay. It's uh, squishy, but uh, as you head out, you're about 10 feet away from the water spout. Uh, as you get closer to this, you notice the waterfall is streaming up and over the brass fencing, uh, and there's really no way to get up to that level. Uh, give me a perception check at disadvantage, everybody. And that's Rambo. Where? <laughs> oh. Uh, you say a at disadvantage? At disadvantage. Fantastic, because I rolled a five and Nine. a Nine. <laughs> Six. Okay, uh, so none of you notice anything. Uh, continue towards the water spout, the idyllic water spout. I have no idea that we'd be waiting for water to get to water. I, this is probably not where someone would meet someone. Oh, he's or getting ready to kill somebody. Bodies. Unless you had your boat. That boat was a bad boat. It would have been. <laughs> that boat was a bad boat. <laughs> Worse things would have happened if we took the boat. So I am glad we are waiting in this water. Okay. A sailor knows when to swim. Mm. Actually, I wonder what this ship's passage feature is that's on page 139 that I didn't bother to look up that could have also prevented half the things that happened. But uh, Probably. <laughs> no, I think that just means you can get past it. You can talk your way in, onto any ship, I guess. I ah, okay. Well, thank you. As, as you approach the water spout, whoop, it disappears. Everybody give me perception normally. Seriously. 18. Oh, uh, 10. One. Nice. 
Ica, beyond where the water spout was, is a flat rock. The center is kind of bulbousy, so it looks like it, it looks like a round stone with a, a bubble on it. Atop that it's bubble, Dallas, it's a, where this is a safe thank space. Thank you. Yeah, it, kind of, it looks like a T. Uh, oh my a, god! Atop of it is a basket. Well, shit, Zando, you were right. I owe you an extra point. Um, really, shit. That all right? Zan, uh, all right. You've got the, you got the otters. If you want to take it and claim glory, I have no interest in glory. Shit. Everybody, roll initiative. Initiative. <laughs> God damn it! You're getting me back for the warts, right? Yes. Uh, Eighteen. <laughs> Uh, oh, 22. Uh, 20. Oh, damn. A 17, and I am the lowest. Okay, that's fair. 22, Zando, as you uh, argue between uh, you and Icon, who wants to go get the basket, the water spout rises up again. This time it looks like it's in the form of a fist. What you want to do? I want to say, really? <laughs> it's just water. How hard could it hit? Oh, dear lord. <laughs> I'm going to guess 3d6 plus 3 hard. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to make sure the last thing I say is an interesting epithet for my, my stone. So, uh, <laughs> that's that true. Is... It's only water. It's water only water. <laughs> Famous sailor. Die. I know what I want to do. Water. Go ahead, Zando. I want to cast Bog Cloud. Oh boy. Okay. Oh, yes. <laughs> a fog rises up out of the water, obscuring everybody's vision, bringing us to the dirty 20. Oh, no. Okay. Uh, so I can't see this thing or where the 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 basket was or anything like that. So, I mean, I'm just uh, do I see Ica in uh Currently, you see Ica and Zando. I've head towards the teat. I'm <laughs> making my way for the teat. <laughs> uh, give me a nature check. Let's see if you remember which direction the teat was at. But can't you feel the water flowing from it? Right. I mean, is water coming out of it, or is it a static? It's a stone. It's stone. Oh, I thought it was a. <laughs> it's okay. a stone platform, and the. Uh, okay. The water weird was in front of it. Uh, Thirteen. Uh, yeah, you're pretty sure you know which direction it was. Okay. And I say, I think I know where it is. So stay close. Uh, Ica, I will hold to on to the uh, the barbarian, and um, uh, I guess I'll try to change from my longbow to the rapier so I can have a hand for you if I need to get a basket. Sure. Uh, it is its turn. The water weird feels you moving through the current. Uh, 15 odd eater. I need a d6. Six. Six. Uh, Ica does a 15 hit you. That, that is my AC currently. Well, now you're going to know how soft water really is. I bet it's going to feel like a gentle caress of a lover. Well, I see one murder hobo ink, meaning six. I uh, can't see that. Maybe it's a caress of an orc mug. But I also see two twos, so that is eight, ten, half plus orc. three, thirteen. Bam! It hits you like a brick. Round two. Uh, Zando, I think. Uh, what do you want to do, Zando? She sits do... back and watches. Is that what she yeah. said? That's what she said. So you don't want to use your longbow or your firebolt. She is very mad about it. What? I can't see anything. Well, you'll be shooting at disadvantage. You know, she can drop a cloud if she wants, right? Yeah. Or, or that's true. Or you can drop the fog cloud. Uh, 
That's fog cloud. Fog cloud is dropped. Uh, Torvig, you're up. Uh, the fog cloud clears, and oh shit, that thing has a big fist. Okay. Uh, how's uh, uh, Ika? Is he like pinned under this thing, or? Uh, I forgot, Ika. Go ahead and roll me a strength save, please. Um, I. Well, I am seven, so I am probably still in its watery embrace. He is latched. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'm going to rage, <laughs> and uh, I am going to attack the base of the water weird. So, okay. all right. Uh, let's see. Yeah, better go with the two hander for this. <laughs> uh, I don't know. Does the thirteen hit it? 13 does hit it. Okay. On the nose. Okay. Since I am raging, uh, that is uh, 7 plus 2 uh, uh, slashing damage. Uh, Ika, you're up. Uh, give me your strength save to see if you can break free to the other side. All right. Um, 13 for the strength save. With your rock gnome strength, you break through to the fist and drop into the water. Uh, I'll give you a bonus action, but not an attack roll. Sure. Uh, Is second wind a free action, or is that something... I'll I'll give you the second wind. All right. Uh, Okay. So that is 12 points back. Um... I will continue to uh, wade forward undaunted towards the basket. Fair enough. Uh, it's turn. That's a three. It's going to go after Torvig this time. Third nat 20 of the night. Hey, this is the product plug. You can just say how great these dice are. That's true. Uh, <laughs> but I'm not using big red. But I am using the Murder Hobo Ink Dice. One Murder Hobo, a two, and a four. Eight. Twelve plus three, thirteen as Horvig takes one, and I'm going to need a strength check. Okay, I am raging, so I have advantage. So Um, it's six damage. Okay. Uh, Because you get half a bludgeoning, correct? Uh, Yes. yes. Okay, six. Uh, So uh, strength check. Uh, with uh, advantage, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, 15. Uh, you barely managed to break free from its grasp. Round three. Uh, Zando, now with your fog cloud dropped, you have a clear line of sight. This thing is just uh, marvelous Marvin Hagler, rest in peace beating the shit out of these two guys uh, while you have managed to stay out of range. What would you like to do? Longbow. Go ahead. 13 to hit. 19. There you go. And... Nine. The arrow passes through, doing nine hit points of damage like a Quentin Tarantino film. Torvig, round three. You're up. You're bleeding from the lip, and your associate Ika has forged ahead. What would you like to do? Mm. Uh, so the so the water weird is kind of what going around. I mean, where is like the, the bubble that the package is on? Is it like in the middle of this water feature or in the water weird is around it? The, it was waterfall, Mm -hmm. shallow water, stone nipple Mm -hmm. with the basket water weird. Okay. Um, uh, I'm just going to try to cover, uh, a six <laughs> so at this thing sure how okay. far am i from the water weird just since i thought it was closer to it than i thought if i am i within a melee striking range or... uh you are uh, but you're pushing forward so you are kind of flanking it if you well, could flank, flank it. It, if you could flank an elemental 
All right. Um, uh, or you can forge ahead to that basket. Well, I feel like at this point, if it's fisting us this hard, uh, <laughs> we should probably uh, uh, take advantage of it. I, if I will, I will shank it as I can. So your, your buttons push there. You go. Yes, okay, know. go ahead. Go, go ahead and shank it. Shank the fister. Yeah, uh, he needs to come back. So that would be a twenty. Easily. And uh, seven points of piercing damage. Nice. Uh, my turn. Yeah. Who am I going to go after? Or Torvig. This thing hates your guts. Okay. 19, baby. <laughs> that is my armor. <laughs> That's my AC. Well, 19 and add five. <laughs> oh, 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 remember those potions we got? <laughs> yeah. Uh, good news. Uh, no murder hobos on this roll, uh, but you do take 10 plus 3, 13, knock it back yeah. down to 6. Okay. Uh, as apparently it floats like a butterfly and stings like, like soft water. <laughs> Nice. Ica, you don't know what a jellyfish is. You are no naval officer. I am very familiar with water and things that are in it. That you can drink. Round yeah. four begins. Uh, Zando, you noticed that Ica had been heading towards the basket, but is now engaged with the creature. What do you want to do? You guys have knocked out 25 of its hit points. I guess I got to go after it again. Sure. 20. Natural? Yep. Damage, damage modifier. Okay, so... Three? That, that's a pirate dog dice roll right there, boys and girls. Five. Three. Uh, Eleven. Uh, Torvig. Uh, another Tarantino bullet. Meow. Flashes through. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and swing uh, 17 to hit. Yep, that is. Uh, let's see. Uh, Torvig, man, Torvig hit. Uh, 12 points of damage from that. And bonus action, I am going <laughs> to I'm gonna fist it with my spiked oh, fist. Oh, my God, seriously. <laughs> hey, come on. <laughs> okay. You're channeling your inner Dave. Yeah, yeah, exactly. You're making snacks run off. He's horrified. <laughs> he did roll uh, a four before he did. I don't know if that might have been a <laughs> Four on a, on a D20. It could dies. <laughs> <laughs> no. Uh, uh, 11 to hit? No. No. Okay. So yeah, Your 11. fisting has failed. Ica, you're up. I, I failed to fist. <laughs> um, where a fist does not work, a stabbing hopefully will. Uh, nat, nat 20. Nice. Uh, I, all right, it rolls twice and then add modify, right? Correct. Seven, seven nine, and uh, 11 points of damage. But with one point over, the fist of water rains down upon all of you as it disintegrates. Well, thank God. The current continues to move, but the waterborne fist is no more. Up on the stone nipple is a basket. Really? And from, and from this distance, uh, how else am I going to do it? It could be. It's <laughs> okay. Sorry, cat. It could That's be a right. stone wart instead of a nipple. Thank you. Uh, a stone structure that looks like Xando the Smurf, <laughs> upper <laughs> lip. Uh, is there with a wicker basket on it. All right. Um, Let's go I... get that fucker. <laughs> yeah. Who wants to grab it? Torvik. That doesn't sound suspicious. Um, yeah, I, send, send. the closest of the three, so I will sacrifice myself. I will grab this basket. Hit it. Don't drop it. <laughs> 
if you knock it over, you're going to be bobbing for apples. <laughs> nice. Um, if I hit, what's my modifier so I know? Dexterity. Oh, okay. 12. Echo wades forward. Does the Raiders of the Lost Ark look? And grabs hold of the basket. Hoisting the prize above, you see a note written by Lortana saying, here you go, my love, enjoy them, as you have captured my I was so worried he was going to say, do not pick this out, the bottom is weak. Um, (laughs) (laughs) I was was waiting for it. Um, Uh, You have your prize. Now Um, do we have to go all the way back? From this location... You see, you can almost make a straight line all the way to that bridge. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> well, um, the good thing is we know that there's definitely at least one less alligator in this water. That's true. Uh, well, and- the, the straight line is get back up on land, follow the granite path. Ah, uh, Okay. I, I will take a path that we don't do any more property destruction. Uh, as you get halfway through the path towards the bridge, there's a large statue if you'd like to investigate it. No, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure that also this, it would also probably try to fist us or something. Yeah, we just need <laughs> yeah, to Yeah, we're, like, we're just, uh, we're we're just, just going. <laughs> we need to go back. Okay. Uh, at this point in time, uh, you have your basket of goodies. You have the note from her. You have achieved your goal. As you reach the bridge, you can retrieve Torvig's rope if you want. It is okay. still tied. Yeah, I don't know any evidence that you know that we had anything to do with the dead gator boat on the thing. We, the Witnesses. What, <laughs> what are you talking about? There is no gator. gator. You, you didn't tie it off. You just beached it. I will There's, hope that the lion has eaten the gator. There is no gator. I don't know what gator you're talking about. Um, do you want your robe back? Uh, I'll I'll untie it. There we go. Start start rolling, wrapping it back up. The trip back to town and your delicious meal will take two hours with no interruptions. You have successfully made it in and out of the garden of discontent. <laughs> Fallout, eh, it's a one shot, so probably not. <laughs> uh, I, I take a look at Xander's lip since we left the garden. Does Thank she you. Still have it? No wart, but she's still blue. <laughs> I don't care. As long as I don't have a wart, I'm good. It'll yeah. wear off. Uh, once you pass through the brass gate, uh, the whistling brass gate, uh, the wart recedes. Uh, let this be a lesson to you Fucking boys and frog. girls. When a strange frog on a weird island asks for a kiss, you say no. No. <laughs> uh, Ica, uh, Ian, uh, <laughs> this was your first time. What'd you think? Uh, well, I've learned some valuable life lessons. I have learned that it's always important to knock. Um, always <laughs> an alligator in any body of water. And um, capybaras are terrible with directions. But they're cute. They are cute. They I are will cute. give them for uh, for that. And, and don't pad your resume. <laughs> I, 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 I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> All neutral, honest person. But I tried to stop extra property damage. You're Ray Charles of the Sea, for God's sake. <laughs> hey, he didn't say he was a high-ranking sailor. Fell so. into the water, had a hard time getting the boat, threw the crocodile over the boat, beached it like crap after hitting it. Ah, you're full of crap. See, the problem water. is that this is all fresh water, and I'm so used to salt water. It's uh, a nice. Ah, that's a, yeah. it's like it's a Just wouldn't understand if you're not a sailor. <laughs> nice nicely done yes that works uh david what'd you think i thought it was fun the second time around so yeah it was and great. you did you guys went the exact opposite way this time exactly. so you didn't what? encounter jack shit oh so there wasn't any overlap in any other encounter that you no this thing None is big whatsoever. enough yeah yeah 
So yeah, I'll, I'll show you guys a screenshot here in just a second. But uh, Carrie, what'd you think? It was good. Uh, I remember listening to half of it and thinking, eh, no, I don't think so. So. <laughs> 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 wow, that's right. Our producer only listens to half our shit. I had to listen, or I had to read trashy romance novels. So there you go. Uh, there it you was go. good. Folks, this has been Murder Hobo Week, the Hoosier Con edition. Thanks for joining us. We really appreciate it. I hope to see you back uh, tomorrow uh, when the Calamity campaign hits, uh, or on Sunday around fourish when the Marku, Margu Trigenerational campaign takes off again. Follow us on Twitch, follow us on Twitter, take a look at our YouTube archive if you want to shoot shit about D&D. Join our Discord channel. If you want to buy our shit, go ahead. Uh, we got some weird shit on there. You can get a shower curtain with our stuff. Uh, phone case, duvet cover. There's a lot of shit there. Uh, thanks, Pirate Dog Dice, for really putting the screws to these guys. And since the adventure didn't stink, uh, we didn't need adventure sense, but we had them just in case. And there's no the warm, the, warm uh, the, the friendly inn scent for that dinner yes. that we are supposed to be getting. Yes, that, that's it. <laughs> that is true. Now, see, I, I do have the uh, pirate ship one, but I don't uh, think Ica would understand and i'd like problem. to say uh warm welcome to the new internet cats snacks and rambo that's true oh, thank you yes <laughs> and uh if you want to have a seat on our one shot next saturday or every other saturday or want to join us on the talk show uh as a participant hit us up m hobo inc twitter or gmail uh let us know we will get you on there we always love new faces that way we can push my face off and <laughs> <laughs> Let, let's push David's face off too. Uh, you know, he's on there an awful lot. Yeah, uh, there's but, fisting. Okay. That's right, folks. Uh, there's a there's a lot of more. Ugh, there's English is my second language. There's a lot more games at HoosierCon. There's still time to sign up for them, so I highly recommend it. We've been going to HoosierCon for ooh, a lot of years, uh, and this is our second online event for them. Uh, thanks to COVID. But again, thank you very much, folks. Uh, we appreciate you showing up and uh, hit us up if you have any questions or you want to see. Everybody, let's wave goodbye and give them the dating game kiss and the producer will take us home. Ah, 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 bye. And <laughs> hang on, I'm not prepared. Muted and done. <laughs>